Now back to Fox 54 Sports, sponsored by Alpha Insurance. Welcome back. We're picking things up with high school baseball state tournament coverage for a elimination game. St. John Paul II and Priceville. Priceville got a run in their half of the first to get up with a lead, but JP2 had a response in the top of the second. Runner on for Brendan Caruso. He's going to see the pitch. The runner goes, bounces up the gap. It'll be a base hit. Nick Sung, he will come around to score, and we've got ourselves a tie game. A couple of batters later for the Falcons, Joey Ross is going to be up, and he hits it softly up the middle, but it takes a hard spike off the glove, and the second baseman has no idea where it is. One run's going to come around to score. That's Tyler Sotolano. He's into third safely. They try to cut off the throw at first base. The runner at second is safe. The runner at third comes on home to score. JP2 gets away from the three fielders, and they get two runs on that play. Final score in this one, 8-6 to six, as St. John Paul takes that 4-1 lead and extends it to an 8-6 final. They'll play Etowah on the 11th. Now over to Madison for game one of the 7-8 quarterfinals between Bob Jones and Thompson. Warriors took over in the second. Up 4-3, bases loaded, high fly ball. Miles Mitchell, he mashes this one. One hops the fence, allowing two runs to score easily as there you see the two RBI double. And a few batters later, it's going to be a pass ball that allows Zach Wyatt to sprint in from third. Head first to the plate, he's going to score. But look, here it is. Wyatt sprinting full speed. He dives in. Way before the throw. Thompson goes for six runs in the second off two bases loaded walks, pass balls, and three RBIs. They hold on to win 9-6 game one. 